In this video, I'm going to be recording how to use the photosynthesis simulation. So I'm at SHS Galbraith, you can Google that to get there, and I'm going to be using the science simulations. And here we go with the photosynthesis simulation. The first step in this is going to be able to get the code. So down below, there is all of the code, or you can go to the Google Doc, which is potentially easier depending on your system. I'm going to go to the Google Doc, select all, and copy all this code. And then you can put it into a processing app if you have that on your device, or if you just have a web browser, you can go to open processing. So I'm going to delete what was there and paste in the code that I just got. There we go. Uh, in open processing, there's one more step we have to take. These three dots here, you need to make sure that you choose the processing language as opposed to this newer one. And now I can run it. So the simulation starts up. We have the color of light, the number of bubbles that are developing because of this, the carbon dioxide, the intensity of light, and we can alter any of these three values here. And the bubble count will result from that. So if I want to go change something, I go back to the code. And the section down here is where you can change things. So for example, if I want to change this to green light, and I want more intense light, I can do that down here, and then you simply rerun it. 